Okay, today I'm going to be talking about this Thunderbolt solar 1.5 watt solar battery charger. Now what I want to do is, I've seen other videos for this and uh, they're saying we should uh, clip the uh, blinking LED from blinking. And uh, I kind of like that idea because I live in the city and I don't want to draw attention to it with a blinking LED. So if it's just plain, it'll be uh, better off. So what I'm going to do is show you how to take it apart and clip the LED and put it back together. Alright, so this shouldn't take too long. So I already got it out of the box. There's an instruction manual. Yeah, we don't need that. There's this. This is trash. Alright, you can see it's already blinking. And all I got here is this is a fluorescent light. You can see it in the in the reflection there. You can see the solar lights blinking. And let's just do a quick test see what kind of volt it's putting out with this uh, with this uh, light as its, as its uh, source, light source okay so with that it's, it's varying but if I bring it all the way up to the light it's still it's always a uh, Voltage is always pulsing. And that's they're saying that's caused by the LED light. So what I'm going to do is clip it and find out for myself. So we're going to need a little tool that I made. Now somebody was saying these uh, suction cups looked pretty cheap, but guess what? They're they're sticking to this paper on my desk. So they're pretty good. So we'll take them out. So the first thing we gotta do is remove all these little these little black plugs. So I got a little hook tool to do that. And I'll spare you the details, but uh Yeah, we gotta get all these little plugs out to get to the screws. And they can be a pain in the ass, so hold on a minute. Okay, I found the better solution is a little uh, mini screwdriver with the smallest tip. I just get in there and pop them out like that. And it doesn't really matter if you lose them. They're just decorative. They don't really do anything. It's not waterproof, so don't leave it out in the rain. If you are going to leave it out in the rain, I would probably silicone the, the edges. Let's pop all these out. Yeah. Moving on. Some of them just come out easier than all this. Okay, so we got all the plugs out. Now we're just going to take all the screws out, clip them out with this uh, power screwdriver. Bought this yesterday at Harbor Freight. It's uh, actually $14.99, but they have a coupon right now for $3 off on their uh, 
on the website. So that's all right. We got all the screws out, all the plugs out. Let's pop this baby open. And we can see it's got a lot of silicone on it. And right down here is our LED, flashing LED. So what we want to do is just cut one of those leads. Let me get my little nippers out. Let's peel back the rubber a little so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Now I'm just going to do the uh, lead that's closest to me. That's why if there's a problem, I could uh, resolder it together. There we go. Now that's officially cut. You can see it there. Okay, so now we're going to turn it around. It's not blinking anymore. Good. So before I put it back together, I'm going to flip it over and check if it's still making a charge. That way uh, I know if I'm going to uh, solder it back together or not. You can never be too careful trusting somebody else's video. Okay, wow. Now with the LED cut, I'm getting a full 14.44 volts. That's just with a cheap fluorescent light here in the basement. So I could probably uh, charge a battery with this, with fluorescent lighting. Here we go. That's because I'm blocking the sun. Locking the light. Alright. There you go. You can see that. Yeah, I'm blocking some of the light, so that's why it's. That's pretty steady 14. Point, uh, point two, point 0.2 volts. Plenty to charge a 12 volt battery. And uh, I'm liking this uh, mod already. So we're just going to put it back together now. And then we're going to go install it in my van. But I'll leave that out for you guys because uh, basically you're just going to sit it on your dashboard and uh, either plug it into your lighter, or in my case, the lighter isn't hooked up, so I'm going to have to hook it to the battery. So, we got our lid, got our little notch spot here for the wire, goes back this way, pop it back on, get your screws started, Just stick them in the holes. Okay, got all the screws going. Screw them all back in. I was glad to see that it was siliconed inside. That helps to make it a little more waterproof. But I wouldn't trust it like uh, in a drenching rain. Huh. 
probably would just make it a little water resistant, I would say. Definitely not waterproof. There, a couple more left. One more screw to go. I know I could spare you this, right? <laughs> you could leave the comments for me at the bottom. So, what we're going to do is put our plugs back in. These probably help to make it waterproof also, or water resistant. Keep the screws from rusting. And we get this. There goes one. So much for being waterproof, eh? I just lost that into the abyss. You ever have a spot near your workbench where you're, no matter when you drop something, you lose it? Well, that's my abyss down there. Oh, it looks like I missed the screw. I think I'm put the plugs back in, huh? Didn't just leave them out. Like any normal person would have. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm missing two of these things. I know one's down there in the abyss somewhere. Oh, I found it. Okay, now depending on how you're going to mount this, if you're going to mount it to the windshield, you're going to put these, these uh, suction cups in the front, you're going to mount it to the dash, you're going to put them in the back, like so. I'm going to mount it on the dash since it's just going to sit there. We'll check our voltage again, just to make sure nothing went wrong during the reassembly now remember when you're doing this since this is uh, exposed this will be our negative so we'll put our red in our positive hole black on negative and check the voltage 14.25 not bad and we're not even in the sun yet. So I have high hopes for this uh, charger. And uh, hope it's supposed to keep my battery topped up. My battery, I don't use my van a whole lot. So my battery tends to drain itself for some reason. I thought I figured it out. But it's still, it's still uh, draining a little bit. It could be just from sitting too. So, uh. That's it for this video. This is the uh, yeah, it's that <laughs> the Thunderbolt Solar Magnum, 1.5 watt solar battery charger. It shows you four suction cups here. But it only comes with two. I watched another guy's video. He opened it, and it only had two. So I thought I was only I thought I uh, was missing two, but I'm not. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you like my video and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.